Yo, 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 this is your boy Fireworks, and welcome back. This is Snoop is Gonna Snoop YouTube channel. The beautiful white gold is here with us today, and we are about to go to the movie theaters and check out Twisters, all right? So we did take a look at the trailers on the channel, as well as we did take a look at the 90s Twister with Helen Hunt and Bill Paxton. So um, I don't know necessarily what to really think. I don't know if this is like a, a reboot of what happened. Um, is this like an updated version for this modern era? What are we thinking? You know what I'm saying? So. I guess you all let us know down in the comments, but this will be a spoiler review as well, okay? We're not gonna like do a non-spoiler and then do a spoiler, but this will this will 100% be a spoiler review. So if you don't get a chance to see it this weekend, make sure you do before you check this video out or at least get to the end, okay? So White Gold, how are you feeling to go see Twisters right now? How you feeling? I'm excited to take a look. I wanna see like similarities, you know, I'm looking forward to like the similarities, but also the differences and um, how they modernize it. And it's, two now so it kind of might give me um into the storm vibes or something but i'm definitely looking forward to it i'm gonna have fun for sure so yes we're about to go see twisters and we did get xd all right for cinemark okay so we're big cinemark fans normally we go to cinemark but we also have a theater that's downtown that does LFX, which is similar. Um, it just kind of looks a little bit better, but we kind of, Cinemark is kind of across the street. So that's the reason why we're kind of heading to Cinemark. Uh, but uh, yeah, we're going to check out Twisters, okay? So again, um, after this part of the video, uh, make sure you see the video or the movie, excuse me, before you uh, get to the end because we will be spoiling this, okay? So um, we're about to go see Twisters and we'll see you all on the other side, all right? Twisters! We'll see you all when we get out of the theater. I'm Fireworks, the beautiful white gold, and this is Snoopers Gonna Snoop YouTube channel. All right, you guys, so we just got back in from seeing Twisters, okay? Crazy experience, because the theater was packed, y'all. Parking lot was packed. Line to the concession was packed. Theater was packed. So, white gold. And before we get into this, spoilers. Okay, so if you haven't seen it, go see the movie first. Come back and watch the spoiler review. Or if you want to be Unless spoiled. Unless you just want to hear how we feel about it before you go see it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Then you can stay. But that was our warning. All right, white gold, how you feel about it? So, um, I, I okay. I feel like... I didn't know, or I didn't think, I guess, that this movie was going to be so big. Like you said, it was packed. And I was like, wow. You know, because we asked kind of the people around us, like, what are you seeing? And they were all, like, blisters. So right. that was kind of crazy. And then to see, like, our whole theater is packed. Like, there was just a few little specks of seats empty. But they're, like, wonders, you know. Um, but seeing it, I'm going to say... I, I like the casting. It was nice to see, like, you know, certain people in there. Um, the dude from Transformers and other things. Mm -hmm. And then we saw Abby from ER, which was good. Like, that was cool to see, you know. And then, I, okay. And I, I, when we were finished, a lot of people, re like, really liked it, you know, which is understandable. It was a good movie. Um, I didn't walk away that impressed, though. Because it was it was a lot of it, a lot of stuff to me came from like into the storm, like the 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 anchors for the truck, and like the addition of these quote hillbillies. They just have a YouTube channel now, and right. the fire NATO, and you know just a lot of the aspects from like into the storm. So it wasn't like anything new that we saw. We saw, so you know, we've seen a big tornado. We've seen all the damage we saw. There were a few moments, there were a few moments in there that made me be like, oh, you know, like, oh shit. But other than that, like I, I've seen it before, you know, and I, like I said, I feel like a lot of it came from into the storm, which was from 2014. But I also kind of feel like if you've seen the first movie, it kind of shows like, I don't know. I feel like that's how they met. Like they were like in there because like they 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 and they shared this love for the weather and these tornadoes and mm -hmm. finding these cells and that's kind of the relationship we got between her and this. What I forgot his name. The Wrangler. The, the tornado Wrangler. Yeah, and um, I feel like they just 
they, they ended up coming together and stuff, which was cool. Um, they followed him, you know, that was a cute little thing. But, yeah, I'm gonna have to, like, give it something like a 6. 6.5, just because, like, I've seen it before. I did notice, like, the modernizations of, like, cameras on top of the trucks and, like, the modern technology. And I did appreciate, like, the nod to door the dorothy's because it seemed like they had the same kind of machine it was it was the dorothy that we knew because they said it was old and stuff which was appreciated you know i'm not knocking it like i said there were some good uh, there are good aspects but it just wasn't like the originality i guess i expected because it, this is twisters you know when we saw the twins for half a second so i was like well, damn, you know, like this was like a kind of a rendition of Into the Storm with Twister kind of as the basis. I don't know. Uh, I, I, I liked it still. Like, I would probably watch it again, but yeah, not that impressed. I didn't walk away like that impressed of it because I've seen it before. Uh, well, I, I enjoyed myself. I thought it's a summer box office film. Like, it's not anything too deep. It's not anything too serious. It's a complete 100% entertainment box office. Go to the movies, get you some popcorn or drink with friends and family or a girlfriend and have a good time. To me, that's what, to me, what, that's what it was. And I think also that plot wise, I like where they went with it. Now, we see a lot of movies. So for me to guess plots and stuff like that, that's already in our in our DNA. You know, we've been doing this for three years. We do it every day. We can see plots. You know what I'm saying? It's not that hard to be like, oh, I don't know what's gonna happen type stuff. You know what I'm saying? So when they started putting stuff in front of you, I could kind of piece the certain things together. And I don't not knock that to the movie because of what was going on with Twisters. And I think Twisters is kind of like the first of its kind when it comes to this plot situation. Twisters was about Dorothy. Into the Storm was more of an aggressive situation of being caught in it and showing you that perspective of it. Twisters to me was more along the lines of Twister. Instead of showing you the end game of what Bill and Joe were going through, you get to kind of see an origin of a couple who are who love weather together, who kind of have the same instincts, and you get you get to see them kind of build a relationship and in the end kind of had this little love thing which i liked um i thought that like even though that the guy's truck going into the ground was a lot from into the storm i still think that's today's age storm chasers there was someone in the comments of into the storm that said there's an actual guy who has like a tank car mm -hmm. like that and really storms chases like that so i was like okay well this is modern day and back to the plot situation being able to stop a tornado we're in modern day now i don't know if 20 years ago you could have pulled that off or even 10 years ago in 2014 you could have pulled that off but the plot of being able to use chemicals to adjust the weather to stop a tornado i thought that gave an interesting modern edge to this movie what i think will be down the road kind of like what twister did twister you know got its name for of course it's awesome cinematics and what it did before its time but also you know the technology with Dorothy and what their mission was and in, in, in being able to do that still wasn't enough so in this movie in modern age they were trying to actually stop a tornado and I think I like that aspect of it and I like the guy from Transformers a lot because I see him in a lot of movies so I like yeah. that he's getting his work in I like him a lot um I sometimes I feel like I'm not gonna like him in this movie because I like him a lot in Transformers but when I see him and other stuff, I end up falling in love yeah, with him. Yeah, he's a great actor, and he's building his rapport. I'm, like, right. so happy for him. Like, Yeah, he's doing a good job. And for Abby, I can't remember her name, her real name, but yeah, so I'm happy for her, too. Like, you know, people that were casted, I, mean, I am super happy for them because this is going to be a huge movie, so. Right. Um, and I thought that the Tornado Wrangler side of it, all aspects of these separate parts and then how they brought together was dope the wrangler providing the truck him kind of being in love with this girl and in the sense um them wanting the same thing kind of finding out that you know uh her partner is kind of working and you know kind of going underneath and 
you know, making money off of the backs of people in disasters and stuff like that. So she saw some light in the other guy and that a lot of what he had going on ended up, you know, working out with her. And then they ended up needing, you know, oh boy, for his technology right. to get a scan of the tornado so they can figure out the equation of how to stop yeah. it and make sure it's measured correctly. So I thought all that what was dope and on top of that just you know this it's a tornado movie y'all you're really gonna get two sides of it you're gonna get twister or you're gonna get into the storm it's not gonna be in between you could probably right. make some shit up where you have tornadoes happening in different places but i feel like that's already happened with um the today or whatever it's called today or tomorrow which i've already watched on the channel i seen people ask about that too that re that reaction is already up on the channel i watched that um so if y'all want to check that out you can just search snooper's gonna snoop and you should uh today after tomorrow that should pop up but um so i as a tornado fan i enjoyed it i don't think it's no i don't think it's anywhere near what twister was um but i think that it is like i said a box office entertaining entertainment movie and i feel like that it's very rare that you have some of these now i talk about them being in the 90s and some watching some of these movies and make me feel like it was you know 90s entertainment at the time right. um because it was a lot of like natural ideas this there's not really storm movies out right. right now and it hasn't been for i don't know how long and then like a real one like a legit back production company warner brothers you know people who are really backing it putting it out so i think for you know the time that we haven't had one and the story that they told in modern day the cast was really good i think that it was for what it is a really good package you know what i'm saying and on top of that bro they got this off the week before deadpool wolverine came out they got this out the way it's either this movie was gonna not do so well because people were waiting for that or it was gonna do well and it's gonna do good up until so right now it looks like the twisters is gonna do well like i i i don't have to look at box office we, we were in theaters and we saw it the line kept getting longer and if it's and longer and if it's packed where we live yeah i can only imagine other places you know and maybe we are just in the what they call the bible belt where people love the, the southern you know where people love tornadoes and that's a thing because maybe in california it's not a thing you know or maybe in new york you know twisters and tornadoes is not a thing yeah yeah maybe it's a regional but who knows you know I, I, our theater was packed i ain't been to a theater packed like that in a long time since maybe bad boys bad boys was packed like that but the parking lot wouldn't pack like that the lines wouldn't pack like that people were pulling up y'all and they had like six yeah. or seven theaters showing this thing. One and seven, At one and seven, seven, one and seven, seven thirty. It was like seven, seven, ten, one was seven thirty, one was seven forty. I was like, dang, and there was like, and then there were people coming after. Like there was later, one like eight o'clock. Mm -hmm. There was. And people were coming out when we were going in. So I think I would probably give it like an eight. I don't think it's the greatest movie of all time, but for me, I was entertained. I, I was like watching the whole time. Um, I feel like for me, I was trying to guess and compare it and see what it was. Is it a reboot? Is right. it? So when you take all that stuff away and take it for its own movie, which is what it is, it's not a reboot. It's not a redo. Yeah. They do, you know, pay homage to the original Twister. They got, you know, a guy in here that's got the red truck, just like Bill does. He kind of has the attitude like Bill, but in this movie, it's the girl. The girl's the one who has the instincts, and then she falls in love with the guy who has the instincts. Instead of you seeing the end game, you see the beginning game. And you have two teams, and one team is, is evil, and another team is, right. is good, and it, they do the same things and pay homage, you know what I'm saying? But I just feel like it's just done in a modern time, you know what I'm saying? And it's twisters. So I feel like, you know, we did see numerous. Um, we did see some good shots. I think the tornadoes in the movie looked pretty good. I think I would probably take the aggressiveness of Into the Storm, but I feel like that was the point of the movie. It right. was called Enter the Storm. This one was Twisters, and it's more so about storm chasing and stuff like that. And also, you know, along the lines of what Twister was, they wanted to get the warning out. This one was modern day, and they wanted to figure out how to stop the tornadoes from, you know, instead of giving a warning. They want to stop on that. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, like I said, I'd probably give it like an eight, eight and a half. You know what I'm saying? And you said like a six. Six, uh -huh. six, six, six and a half. Okay, so... You all let us know down in the comments how you feel about Twisters. Okay, we had a lot of fun. We got some Storm stuff in on the channel. And then also, we got a chance to go to theaters and check this one out. And of course, you know how we get down. Uh, we love YouTube land. So, uh, whenever this hits streaming, 
we'll probably react to it. Now, I don't know if we'll react to it as soon as it hits streaming, but when tornado season comes back, or maybe we it comes out during tornado season, we'll, we'll definitely react to it. It'll be up on the channel. So, uh, and Twisters, Twister and Into the Storm, two uh, weather movies, and today, the day after tomorrow is all up on the channel, okay? So, before we get out of here, make sure you guys leave the thumbs up and leave a like. If, you need, if you're new here to the channel, hit subscribe and tap the notification bell so when we do a video just like this one, you all will get it first, okay? So, of course, we got a lot more content on the way for you all, okay? We'll see you all very soon. I'm Fireworks, the beautiful white gold, and this is Snoopers Gonna Snoop YouTube channel. We out.